G'day guys. This is one of the most venomous snakes in all of Malaysia. And I am so excited to walk up this here. We talked earlier today about you know, that this might be in the area, uh, but we didn't expect to actually be able to come out tonight and find this gorgeous snake. Very, very distinctive. It's the red-headed crate. You might be able to tell because they've got that gorgeous red head and they've also got this amazing uh, red tail. But otherwise, almost a, a very blue sheen to them. Um, amazing little animal, or well, quite a big animal in this instance. These snakes are very rare within their range, which means that unfortunately, not a whole lot is known about them. That impressive triangular looking body though, is a great example of an identifying feature of the Bungaris or crate family, which this beauty belongs to. I feel like I should probably let you guys know that we've got a full team of people around, uh, including a professional snake handler in case, um, <laughs> you know, to make sure that this guy is, uh, we're all safe, basically. Um, I'm not just out here on my own, playing around with highly venomous animals. Because this one is definitely uh, the most dangerous animal I've ever featured here on Life Gone Wild, um, which is awesome, but also um, being this close, uh, sweating just a little bit. Um, these guys eat other snakes, um, small mammals, but not so often, and amphibians. Um, we found him just down uh, this bank here in the creek, um, and God can they move, they are so fast. Luckily we had the snake handler on hand to um, stop him, otherwise there was no way. In part because of the rarity of the red-headed crate, just how venomous this snake is, is not 100% certain. One study has it right up there with the most venomous snakes in the world, sitting just outside of the top 10 most venomous terrestrial snakes. The crate's venom is thought to be perhaps even more potent than that of the black mamba. Snakes within the Bungaris family are nocturnal and tend to be regarded as fairly docile animals. This individual measured in at around the two meter mark, making it a very large crate. Most of the Bungara snakes normally grow up to about one to one and a half meters long. We were incredibly lucky to find this gorgeous individual. But they're actually a very shy animal, though they're highly venomous. As you can probably tell by the fact he's got his head just poked under his body there. Very, very shy, which is why I'm able to get quite so close but any sign of movement, I'm backing the hell away. <laughs> While caught up like this, the red-headed crate is thought to sometimes flick their tail around to act as a distraction, allowing time for the head to escape when they feel particularly threatened. This just highlights how even seemingly quite innocent behaviors have a real purpose in nature. So we're gonna let him go. I'm going to back the hell away. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. Woohoo!